Hi, hello, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. In this video, we will together design this professional and modern looking slide in PowerPoint. So as usual, as you can see on this slide, we have this photo cropped to a perfect oval. We have some these rounded rectangles that add negative space. And also we have some ovals that have no fill, but only a outline. And here some text boxes. So let's start creating by creating new slide, deleting these two text boxes. And we will start with creating a background. So of course you can create new rectangle and you know, fill it with the color of this background, but it will be more convenient to change color of our background. So right click, format background, and here you can also change your color. So for example, to black, etc, etc. So we will use eyedropper. So let's do so. And now you have to press and just pick this kind of blue, navy blue color. Perfect, so the second thing will be to create this photo. So Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste it. And now let's reset this picture. So as you can see now, uh, this is original photo. This is, yeah, this is a square, a perfect square. And we have to crop this photo to a perfect oval. So we have to create an oval. So let's do so. And as you can see now, when I am creating this oval, this is kind of ugly and strange, right? Because I didn't block a proportions. So you have to select, you have to press your shift key and now the proportions are blocked. By the way, shift key is also really common use tool in PowerPoint because it's really useful. Like you can see in this situation. So we have to adjust the size of this oval to this original photo. So I think, yeah, it's really close. So yeah. And now we have to just subtract this shape. So go to the shape format and here merge shapes and intersect perfectly. Uh, something didn't work. Let me check it once more. So as a first, you have to select your photo and as a second, your shape. And now shape format, merge shapes and insert, intersect. Yeah, exactly. Now it works really well. All right. So our second thing will be these rectangles that have rounded corners. So go to the insert of course shapes and normally you use this rectangle but in our situation it will be much better to use rounded rectangle so let's do so and as you can see the difference here in rounded rectangle we can modify our corners so now it's just a normal rectangle but here we have this yellow I mean the orange oval that controls the roundness of our corners. So yeah, let's adjust the size, mainly the width, yeah, something like that, perfectly. So uh, you have to also pick this the same color, so let's do so, and create a copy of that, so Ctrl and D to duplicate. And let's place it somewhere here. Yeah. And as you can see, this looks really amazing because you have this feeling that, you know, this photo is kind of cropped. You can, you cannot see anything through these shapes, right? And it is really easy because you have to just pick the color of your background. All right. So our third thing will be these ovals. So. As usual, if you want a normal oval, 
you go to you go to insert section shapes and just an oval right but as you can see it doesn't look the same that's because i didn't choose any shape fill so you have to go to the shape fill and just choose no fill and as you can see our oval disappeared that's because we don't have any color fill but if we choose shape fill just take this color and now in format shape in this window we can modify the width so as you can see it starts looking really appealing so that's not really difficult so i will just duplicate these three ovals so ctrl c and ctrl v uh, this one oval has 9.25 points of width this one has 625 and the last one has 1175 so let's preview our work yeah it looks really cool so our last things will be to now ah, actually here we have also an oval so let's duplicate it and paste it right here and here also this is just a full this is just a oval perfect oval that is filled with a pure black color but of course you can you can increase your transparency to really high points for example 90 uh, 94 and you know this this is a cool effect because fill an empty spaces in your slide right so we have to now create just this title so creative slide as you can see i used poppins semi bold and this one is poppins light and 28 of size and of course this one is pure white this one is a red color so ctrl c and ctrl v and here we have just a rectangle ctrl c and ctrl v and our last thing will be these two text boxes as you can see it's lorem ipsum automatically generated text and also pop in slide and 14 of size so yeah it's actually it's actually a group of these two text boxes so ctrl c and ctrl v now we would like these objects to be aligned to the middle of themselves so we have to group these two shapes ctrl g select by shift or control on or control this rectangle and this text box and now you have to go to the shape format align and align middle <laughs> yeah actually no middle actually align center so as you can see it has been already aligned to the center let's preview our work yeah as you can see with about 10 minutes we created this awesome looking and really appealing slide i think that's that is one of the best of my slide designs and you know actually it wasn't so hard to create it so i hope you liked this video please subscribe to our channel if you are passionate about powerpoint and presentation design and please also share this video to your friend or colleague have a great day and lead a happy life excellent slides